Okay, hello everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And uh, as you must be aware, uh, this video belongs to my playlist about power system analysis. <laughs> and uh, as you must be aware, I have been working uh, on on short circuit analysis. Okay, and for the past few weeks, I have been solving some numerical examples here. Um, there are some very basic, very basic, but useful uh, numerical examples. Okay, um, and here, what you can see, there is a basic statement. There are uh, 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 an asymmetrical event happen. Okay, there is an asymmetrical event. Okay. We don't know what kind of element is, uh, what kind of event is, okay? But we know this is an asymmetrical event, okay? And uh, in a power system, the steady state current measurement are presented here, and you can see there is uh, there are three currents over there, okay? You can see A, B, and C, okay? And, and from there, what you can see now is they are a, a very interesting question here. What is uh, what what are the symmetrical components, positive, negative, and zero components of these three phase currents? Okay, and this this problem is extremely simple. Okay, but what you need to realize is that something happened in the power system. We don't know what is happening over there. What imagine that we have the power system, yeah, and they are uh, A, B, and C, yeah. You can see, and there are three currents over here. This is A, B, and C. And those currents, if you look over there, all the currents have 10 amps, okay? That means that all the currents you can have here, um, the current A, 10 and zero degree, yeah? Then we have uh, for V, and V uh, is located probably here. And this is uh, 10 at uh, 230. And then we have here at um, 130 degree, we have here IC. And this is 10 again at uh, 130 degree, OK? Um, in this case, the, the, the three magnitudes are the same, yes? You can see that the three magnitudes are equal. In this case, a specific case is 10 amps, but you can see that the phase angles are not following the classical three phase definition, okay? Because in three phase definition, we have 360 divided by three, that is 120 degree, okay? But in this case, we have 130 here, and for this one, we have uh, 230, okay? Okay, now let's solve this. Let's solve this question. Okay, this is question Q3. Okay, okay. Now this problem look extremely simple, and what we need to do is create it, uh, create um, the vector IBC, uh, IABC. As you can see over here, there are three components. These three components are in real units amps, ten at zero, two hundred and thirty, and hundred and thirty. Okay. Okay, then what we need to do is something extremely simple. Uh, you must remember from symmetrical components for from Fortescue. You must remember from Fortescue that there is a relationship between ABC and symmetrical components. Okay, and here you can see that we have the matrix A. Okay, here the core is matrix A. Okay. And the matrix A can be uh, can be expressed in terms of the operator, the operator A. Okay, and you must remember that the operator A is one and a phase angle of 120. Okay, yeah. Okay, what we need to do is the following. Okay, this is the matrix A, but if we are interested on the symmetrical components, of course, we need to get the inverse matrix of A, the matrix A. 
And mm, you must remember that the inverse matrix of A, you can see that there is a third here and something very particular happened, okay? Um, for all of you that they are not familiar with the mathematical, uh, back, uh, mathematical basics here, Something that you must realize and is really important that you realize is when you are inverting the matrix A, this is the matrix A, okay? And this is the matrix A, but is after the inversion, okay? This is the inverter, the inverted matrix A, okay? I believe you can see that there are some changes on the location of the terms, and there is a third over here, okay? Please try to be careful. It's very different. The matrix A is different to the this one, okay? Be careful. Don't be confused. This one, the matrix A, you have here A square and A square A here, and here is located in other locations, okay? Be careful with that, okay? Uh, if you confuse those those elements, you can make a very base, a very bad mistake, okay? Okay, here you can see the matrix A, okay? And here what you need to know is this, this uh, rectangular complex number, in this case represent A, okay? This is A, and this one is A squared, okay? Sorry, again, this is A squared, because this is this one, okay? And you can see this is A squared. And then over here, and then over here, we have a square. But remember something very important. There is a third that is multiplying, but in this operation is already inside the matrix, okay? Okay, quite nice, quite good. Okay, let's keep moving. Now, what we need to know, what we need to do is, for instance, if we are interested on the positive sequence, the positive sequence will be a third of the current A, then A times B, and then a square, a square A times uh, C, okay? And you can get here the numerical results, okay? Um, and some of, of my students, they are very fanatic here. Sorry if I made that typo, okay? This is, this is uh, so many numerical things that you need to do using um, uh, equations inside Microsoft Word, and that is quite painful, okay? But then you can do the same for the negative sequence, okay? You can do the same for the negative sequence. And finally, you can get the result for the zero sequence, okay? The zero sequence, let me put here the zero sequence at the very end of this. Okay, as you can see, uh, here is the result in rectangle and polar form, sorry, for phase, uh, for the positive sequence of phase A, negative sequence, and zero sequence, okay? Um, I put all, all the numerical things over there, but um, again, there are the possibility that I make a, a small mistake over there. What I will do is the following. I am too old for doing all the manual calculations, okay? Um, if, if you are following, uh, following my YouTube channel, what I suggest is that um, you must be aware that I have a GitHub repository, okay? Um, here at this, at this uh, web, uh, website, at GitHub, you can, ha you can find my repository, okay? And there is a specific repository for fault analysis, okay? And in this case, in this case, there is a very specific file and that specific file is uh, symmetrical components, symmetrical components number three, okay? You can, you can go here and you can download the file, okay? You can download the file and then uh, the file is basically a, a MATLAB script a live script in MATLAB, okay, that you can use to check your numerical results, okay? 
uh, in January of this year, I took the time and I prepared those live scripts for my students. And what I will do now is the following, okay? If, if you go here, if you go here, um, what I did is, is the same problem we are talking about. We are talking about three asymmetrical currents, one 230, one at 130 degrees, okay? Phase C at 130. First step, I define the currents A, B, C. Then I define the vector that is representing A, B, and C. Then I define here the operator A, the operator A, the magnitude is one and 120 degree phase angle, okay? This pi and 180 is because inside MATLAB you need to use the radians, okay? Then I define here, you can see this is the definition for the matrix A. However, in this calculation, I, I, I need is the inverse, and that is the reason that I am saying this is A1, okay? A1 represents the inverse matrix of A, okay? Finally, I can obtain the, the zero positive and negative sequence, the, the, the symmetrical components, by uh, multiplying the inverse of matrix A multiplied by the um, different components, uh, sorry, different uh, current lines, A, B, and C. And then I collecting here the results and publishing the results, okay? Um, what I will do now, because uh, my students, they want to see the numerical results and be sure that everything is fine. What I am doing here is I am comparing the numerical results. Let's see if everything is fine in this case, okay? And what I will do now is run this, okay? And over here we can see the solution for the current for the current A. And also we have here the currents A, B, and C. Okay. Let's do the following. Let's see the in the visualizer here. Uh, let me put the visualizer. Uh-huh. Here we have the comparison. Okay. Uh, for the positive sequence, the result is 9.89. A zero degree, you can see here the comparison between them. Yes. Then we have here the comparison between uh, the zero sequence. The zero sequence is 0 0.95192. And here you can see the zero sequence. And then you have here the uh, negative sequence, 1.053. And here you have the numerical result for the zero sequence. And it's the same result. Okay. What I did here is just a basic uh, healthy uh, security check. And what I did is I calculate the current at phase A. And if you remember, that is a data that is 10 uh, zero degree. And I did a safety shaking uh, by calculating the current on, um, on line A. And as you can see here in polar form, the result is 10 and zero degree, okay? Uh, again, um, if you prefer uh, checking the results by hand, you can go here and check the numerical results at the paper. But also if you are a, a student that prefer to have more hands on, on uh, codes or, 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 or you are more advanced student, you can go here to my uh, life script and you can see the solutions and you can see uh, the procedure, also the programming lines that you can use for showing your results, okay? Um, Again, one key point here is that you must be aware that I create this GitHub repository and inside this GitHub repository, you can find uh, several of my tutorials over there with proper step-by-step uh, -step solution, okay? Uh, again, I highly suggest that you be familiar with my GitHub and visit there and 
enjoy all the material that is located over there that is for you okay um well that's all for this video right now i will say thank you very much for watching the video and see you very soon again in my youtube channel thank you to all the subscribers thank you uh, thank you for all the good comments and feedback that i receive thank you bye now